Okay, IT issues. All right, so look, the theme of today, uh, and this is all, I'm pulling it from my pocket now. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. You're supposed to watch this video that rouses the emotions and uh, has you has you uh, in tears and, and, and inspires you to, you know, this journey that we took. But it's not all that. It's really very, very simple. The topic that you'll hear people talking about later on, and for you young people, you're going to hear big words like cultivating leadership and inspiring the next generation. All you need to know right now is that all of you here, the youngest people, are already leaders. And leadership is only a reflection of what's put in front of it. So you'll lead the way we're leading you now, the way your parents are teaching you, the way you learn from the school. All of you, I'm sure, can somebody, anybody in the first two roads, can you tell me how to spell a word? What word can you tell me how to spell? Yeah, spell a word. Tell me how to spell a word. S-P-E-L-L. She taught me a word. Can somebody show me where's the exit sign? Where's the way to get out if there's a fire? Anybody? Right there? Okay, so he showed me where to go. She taught me how to spell something. Right? Can show somebody... Any of you that can explain one of these things has already shown the skills that it takes to be a leader, right? It's up to us to put good things in front of you for you to learn and mirror back. That's really what it's all about. There's not a lot of talk. People have a tendency to run leadership into the ground. You don't need, with all due respect, I'm sorry, to the PhDs in the room. You don't need 14 years of education to understand that these children want to be led and they want to grow up in a good example. And it's up to us to be able to provide that. And if we don't, then their leadership in the future reflects what we gave them today. Mashallah, come on in. If you, were, if you were to do something, what, what would you want to be able to show your classmates and their school? What do you, what do you want Carvia School to grow up to be? Okay, so good. So we start small. We start small. But really, what the bike ride was for us was the fact that I was broke. Uh, and that's as plain as it gets. Paying for school is not easy. Making a curriculum and providing the supplies for all the school and all the grades yeah, is, is not easy. So like a lot of parents, we wanted to come up with ideas. And everybody in the room has an idea. It's just a, it's just a matter of getting out of your house and going to do it. <laughs> She's excited. So when you have an idea, it's, it's more a matter of, oh, you know, what, what, what can I bring to the table? What, what kind of things do I like to do that I give my own inspiration to? What would I do even if I wasn't being told to? And that's where the bike ride idea came, came from. My wife has the car. I don't have a car. So I ride the bike to work. That's where the idea comes from. And the children were inspired by it, and they thought it was a good idea. And it turned out to be a lot bigger than we thought. Um, my daughter's teacher, Sister Amber, only needed $700 worth of supplies. We ended up raising $22,000 with the bike ride going from College Park to Harrisburg and back. We had no idea that it would work. I'm not an athlete, so we didn't know if I could make it, and the brothers didn't know if I was whaling or not, you know. So uh, the bike ride turned out to be uh, a very big deal for all of us. It was slow, and the biggest, most successful part of Suffer Wins the Race was the fact that other people like you all have gotten the idea, and you've gotten the idea that you could do something yourself. You could do uh, something bigger. You could take it further than we did. And inshallah, people like Navi actually took that, that, uh, that instance to be able to say, hey, you know, come here and let me shake your hand, and let's see what we can do next. And that's what the bike ride really is about. It's not about 235 miles. It's not about the money. It's about what comes next. It's very easy to start a Muslim school. 
it's very, very easy to plan a fundraiser and to get people together for a jama'a or a fundraising dinner or a bake sale or whatever. It's more difficult to take the next step and then the next one is to be consistent. And Muslims have to be consistent. You can't just get the idea, you have to follow through and you have to build something with it. And most people will realize that it, this, this thing that we're doing today is only part of that process. So mashallah, if, uh, if you all have come, did you get it? Did that looks like a, a thumbs up? But I don't know if it'll have a video. If you've come together today, then inshallah, then maybe what you'll take away is something greater than any idea that I had. And, and I pray inshallah that we're able to do that. Okay, all right, inshallah. So I think what we're doing is right now I'm just talking you to death. We're going to break and make awesome. The brothers are going to try to fix the, the IT issues, and you'll be able to watch the video. And if there's anything that we can do and, uh, and take questions or, or uh, maybe hear your own ideas, inshallah, then we'll do that afterwards. Um, uh, now, Naveed, Naveed has, a, has a gift for Brother Abdul Rashid. Naveed, would you like to give him the gift? Would you like to give a gift for Brother Abdul Rashid? Yeah, please take it. Don't be scared. These people, they can't uh, Naveed, it, it's all a surprise for Naveed. He did not know that this is what's going to happen to him. Um, for those of you who came late, uh, let me remind you again. Uh, Naveed uh, came up with the idea that he wanted to shake hands. He saw Brother Abdurashid in his dream um, after watching the video uh, of Brother Abdurashid uh, in, a, in a biker pond. So, so next morning he asked uh, uh, his mom that he wanted to shake hands with uh, Brother Abdul Rashid and, and we forwarded that request to Brother Abdul Rashid and Brother Abdul Rashid is here now. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask him. Uh, we'll, we'll break for Salat. Uh, salat Salaam Sir, we'll make the sal uh, Salat and then we'll uh, reconvene uh, for, uh, for the panel discussion on raising future leaders, inshallah. Any questions? Thank you very much for coming today, everybody. I, I don't think I think there's a lot more to do today, and there's other speakers that are going to be saying maybe things more interestingly than I have. But uh, we're going to stay together, and we'll we'll see what the what the uh, evening brings. So.
Thank you. 